<laughs> wow. Welcome to No Authority Field here in <laughs> Indica Springs, Colorado, where the munchies are so intense, no one minds paying $30 for nachos, including me, and I'm cheap. Fire up and blast some Zeppelin. It's time for some mile-high football. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, wow. Mm. And, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now, the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Boom! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. The defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. And he sure got his refund. Boom! And like the Titanic, his shot! Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Yeah. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Yeah. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler and runs. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. themselves a second chance by calling a time warp dirty trick and wiping away that previous play. Time warp is a quarterback's best friend. Before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> Second down and five. <laughs> That's a four yard gain. And that'll bring up third and one. <laughs> 
Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, mama. Oh, man. He just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grim. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. The ref didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and five. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like Nick. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The 10. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten past. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, did we get out of Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Now, these penalties have really gotten out of hand especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. <laughs> Third down and never get... It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Third down and nine. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Oh, oh, oh. No, boy, boy. <laughs> and they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Third 
Second down in a very lot. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. Four yards on that one. Yeah, he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Jim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. And it's first and ten. Runs it for three. Second down and seven. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. He was starting to go somewhere. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row, cause that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Third down and, well, good luck. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip. Oh, a great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. Kind of reminds me of that painting of dead, carving the turkey. Grandma, the whole thing. Epic fail by the offense. The defense. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. <laughs> First down and forever. Oh, and that 
one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hot, hot. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Third down and a pussy here. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so... With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if they rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking creep ball here, Briggs. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait! I gotta take a dump! And that'll be second down and four. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his... Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third and four. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. I was killing Silla. I am a hell of a fella. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, jeez, here it comes. Blah. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one. And another interception. This quarter. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Granny. You're right. And it's first and ten. One, hot two, hot, And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when the... the ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Oh, the 
defender almost picked off the ball on that one. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Ah, we are, Quinn. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back from the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. What a game is this close as the score indicates. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Hot one, hot two, hot three. This guy's a brick should have. Boom, dead end. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy... And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot... Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Is that right, Glenn? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. And this is a first and low. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Defense gives him five yards there. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down in a very lot. his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Third and four. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Right at the opening snags. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down and a lot. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker drugs. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just... With no players left on their roster and an empty bag of weed, the Mile High Chronic loses by forfeit. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.